Oh, hey, CBC. It's been a while. You're looking trim. Listen, I know nobody likes getting life advice from an ex, but I think it's time for you to start thinking about dumping television. Let me put this as a hockey metaphor. You like those. Look at the puck, CBC. Look at the puck. Where's the puck going? You know, this year, for the first time since records have been kept, TV sales are actually dropping. Which is no surprise when you realize that 4 out of 10 Canadians can now watch mobile web video and 80% of us have the internet at home. What about the other 20% you ask? Well, they're largely Radio 2 folk, or at least they used to be. We all know you could be getting a little more bang for your buck, or our buck, in the ratings department. You're a public broadcaster. You're supposed to be broadcasting to the public. Which brings us back to the question of where the audience is and where we're going to be. You know, if you took half of Don Cherry's salary and invested it in people like Katie O'Malley, online journalism, this country would already be a better place. Now imagine if you took Peter Mansbridge and all the local news teams and you moved them over to the web and then threw in some episodic original Canadian drama and documentaries and comedy. You could build the best interactive multimedia portal on the planet. You know, CBC, all your friends were talking. We knew it was a bad fit between you and Richard and you lost sight of your mandate. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. You know what? We forgive you. In fact, I don't want to weird you out, but I still love you. So what do you say, CBC? What do you want to be? Middle of the pack, bleeding money, putting another coat of paint on the Titanic? Or internationally recognized digital media pioneer with an awesome radio service, of course? It's time to reimagine, CBC. And that means imagining a future without TV.